Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from thedailylindsay.com coming at you with a very special haul from a very special location. As you can see, there's a beautiful pool behind me, some palm trees. I am in lovely Palm Springs at a place called A Place in the Sun. Um, it used to be uh, like the cottages where the cast and crew of the, um, the Elizabeth Taylor film A Place in the Sun used to stay when they were filming it out here. And we just came across this hidden gem and apparently we're the only ones staying here. So I'm taking advantage of this awesome backdrop. Now, because it's Memorial Day weekend, oh man, I'm sorry I'm rambling. I'm sure you guys just want me to get into the hall, but let me just preface this whole thing by saying it's Memorial Day weekend, so there's gonna be amazing deals at the outlet shops. And some premium awesome ones are just about maybe 20 to 30 minutes away from here. And there's a Kate Spade shop there, which is like my favorite lifestyle brand in the world right now. So how to take advantage of that. They tend to do really good deals on Memorial Day weekend. A couple years ago, I bought a handbag there and this time I couldn't resist either because the whole store was 50% off. Can you believe that? 50% off. Plus an additional 20% off your purchase if you bought a handbag. So of course, I had to grab Life by the Horns. Oh no, it's, is it about to rain? I just felt a little raindrop. Okay. So anyways, good deals. Let me just show you what's in the bag. I also hit up J. Crew, so I will also be sharing that. Okay, so here is the beautiful Kate Spade bag that has my purse. And if you notice, it is the color purple. Purple is gonna be a theme in this video. I don't know, it's just, I was feeling purple today. So here is the handbag. This is, it comes, all Kate Spade handbags come with a dust bag, which is really handy when you're storing them. I always keep them in there. Just gotta take good care of Kate, you know. But this is the bag that came home with me. So the price tag says a similar style retails for $328. The price at the store was $295 at 50% off. We slash that in half and then another 20% off that price so it was about like $118 for this little butte right here now I should inform you because I have become quite the Kate Spade connoisseur in these past few years the quality of the products at the Kate Spade outlets aren't quite the same as the products you'll find at a full retail Kate Spade shop or at Nordstrom's or any department store they do use I hate to say inferior materials, but they do use lesser materials to cut on costs and make the designer styles more affordable. So just be aware of that if you're shopping for Kate Spade at an outlet. But nevertheless, they're pretty good quality still. You know, it's an awesome like leather bag. I mean, it's pretty stiff for a leather. It's not like the Marc Jacobs bag that I have that's just absolutely just soft and lovely and wonderful. But um, I mean, this is great leather for the price and the style that you're getting. Ugh, I just love the scallop details on the sides of this panel and the color is just, it screams spring to me. And then let me, here's, here's the third point that's pretty awesome. Oh, sorry, there's a bunch of foam in here. Let's just get rid of that. But as you can see, I don't know, can you see that? Can you get a good angle in there? Yes. See, there are um, bows inside and I'm a sucker for bows. If you're a sucker for bows, thumbs up this video because anything with a bow in it, I practically have to have it. So this bag came home with me and it's a nice little tote and it can also be used as a shoulder bag. So yes, it's ugh, so pretty and I'm so glad it's mine. Okay, the other thing that came home with me from Kate is this really cute coin purse. I could not resist. It is in the shape of a popsicle. As you can see, there is the little stick right here and on it, it says, what did the lime say to the coconut? Like, you know, those popsicles you would have as a kid that would have jokes on them. I, that's adorable. And this pretty color, I think it's like a teal aqua-ish kind of color. Love that. And you just pop it open and you put your coins in there. So this retails for about $45. This came out to be like, I think 18 or so at the shop. So pretty cute deal. Pretty good deal for a cute item. Love it. Oh, oh no, it's raining. I don't know if I should just like 
keep rolling with it if my camera is gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Things I do for YouTube. If it gets too crazy, I'm gonna have to cut this out, but. So I also hit up Loft and bought one piece. I got this really beautiful, it's, it's gold, it's costume jewelry. It's a gold necklace and it has like coral on it. I just really love the pattern of this. This coral I think will really complement the dress, which I'm going to show you in one second. And paired with the bag because it has, oh no, it only has, uh, it does have some gold hardware on it. I think it'll really complement that as well. So this came home with me. It was originally $34 and it was 40% off, so it was about $22 as well. Okay, so next up is J. Crew. I was perusing for some um, flip flops while I was at the shops, and of course, I did not find any flip flops. That just doesn't, that just happens, you know? You sit out on a mission and sometimes you just don't end up with what you were looking for. But I was open to new possibilities and a couple spring slash summer dresses came home with me. This one has some really cute pineapple details on it and paired with that coral necklace, I was like my husband, he's in the animation industry, I was just kind of joking, playing around with him that it would be my Spongebob dress because Spongebob lives in a pineapple under the sea, so get it, the coral, the pineapple, thought it was pretty cute. So anyways, this dress was 50% off, it was $84, so you know, still kind of pricey, but the way that it fit was just perfect on me, and it's just so summery, and it was just calling my name, the pineapples got to me. It has like, it has like, it definitely has pockets was another another ugh, my throat is so dry right now but it was another good selling point that the fact that it had some pockets and there's a zipper in the back and it's just very flattering yeah the pineapple dress came out to be $42 so not bad for J. Crew. and I should also tell you that because J. Crew has its own factory shop the quality of the items there are different as well. It's not like the kind of quality and um, materials that you'll get at a normal J. Crew shop. And you can tell because when you look at the tag, there are two diamonds underneath the label, so you know, so you can tell the difference between what is like regular J. Crew and what's factory J. Crew. I don't know, just a helpful tip to let y'all know in case you don't know. So, anyways, this is the other dress I got. It is a, it kind of looks like pink on camera, but it's more of like a light purple. It could be a purpley pink, but I would call it Radiant Orchid. Yes, that's the Pantone color of the year, right? So, this is just a really simple but well tailored dress, the way it fits on my frame, and it's also got pockets and it has a zipper on the side and it's just really well fitted and I think it'll look really cute with that. I got caught off there, but I was saying that it would look really cute paired with that um, coral necklace, yeah. Okay, so that's everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to, remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you wanna talk outside of YouTube and thanks so much for watching and let's talk in the comments. I'll see you there, bye everyone.